Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 228 pounds. His professional record, 32 and four, 32 KOs from Safety Harbor, Florida. He's ranked in the top 10, ladies and gentlemen. He is Alex the Destroyer, Stu. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks with white trim. Weighing in at 212 pounds, his professional record 28 and 1, 22 KOs. This 1984 Olympic medalist is a former two-time champion from Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal. Holy Cooper. Cooper. Even though he's got some of those knockouts. Tried to close the glove at the last sec. Good uppercut by Holyfield. That's the punch he took out Buster Douglas with. And Stewart is a little bit hurt here. Holyfield told us that Stewart leans over his jab and an uppercut would work. And we've seen it here in round one. And Holyfield does not let fighters get away. He really does go for the knockout. And it's all over Stewart. Cut on the left. Stewart. And it was a cut that stopped their first fight. Stewart is being. Field is all over Stewart, who was slow to start. Stewart almost went out of round two the first time. Good combination by Holyfield. That rock back. And Evander Holyfield. Let's face it, this is a not come out of the gate. And Holyfield trying to zero in on that with that right hand. He's walking right through Stewart, and the right hand has been there for him. Stewart's number early in this fight. He loves to match it. Before the start of these fights. Bonte, it's just that of int You know, this is the story of his career. He's been. And he waits. Whereas Holyfield has to, to breathe off confidence. And now he scores with a left and a right hand. Maybe not, though. that score the right was blocked and they fight to the right hand but he hits it back and just rattled when a fighter comes back after that beating does he still have it and stewart again to throw the jab not far with it and stewart is getting braver stewart's eye holyfield had a similar cut in his win against alex stewart Waiting for Alex Stewart to show more. Bob Papa along with Dave Bontempo and Carl Banks at ringside here at Atlantic. And Holof hasn't been that way. This is the big round five. Or something. This has been a bit of a chess match. Such a big punch and, you know, it's not. An odd split up between Evander. That's a major question. Holyfield letting loose with the left hand. Took away. Stewart's hands are convention centers. They want more action. Very, very explosive type of a bout. Hitting too long. Dave is right. So many good performances. And that is the end. That brought down to mortality. And yet Stewart, not based on the fact that Evander Holyfield has never been knocked out, he gets in the habit of working to set up his opportunities. So they made him think defense first. Has dictated the terms of this fight. To unleash that big right hand. Stewart says he had to. Stewart has to be ready to adjust his tactics. Good comedy. And Stewart with one right hand bomb, and that leads to a streak. Stewart is a very impulsive fighter. He'll land one shot, and then he'll get rejuvenated and try to land a few. And Holyfield now reverting back a little bit to his old defensive stance with the cross hands. And now here's the rumble, maybe, that Stewart needs.
doesn't do something, he'll be sizing. Kind of a surprising. Holofield had 36 in the first round, so he. Clubbing left by Hope. Impressive. Uh, so that he can warrant a, re a, a title rematch. If they need to win, and this way he can possibly guarantee the rounds. Vander has been having any fights for a long time. He was fighting two times a year, and this is right about on pace. And now Holyfield and Stewart exchange here at the end of round 10. The first. Both fighters score. Yeah, like where's the intensity at this point? At least gamble. You've got nothing to lose. Uh, the scorecards are not going to be very nice to him. Well, Holyfield ripping on the inside. Well, the team goes into a game with a running plan as Holyfield scores with a up. Well, Alex Stewart is someone who knows he needs the big win. Train for victory. Good left hand by Holyfield. And Stewart back on his heels. Train to fight the Evander Holyfield. That's the question that I have. And job in the fourth and fifth rounds with right hand counters, but now all because of just the past history shows that if you hit Holyfield, he wants to hit back. Stewart is hurt against the ropes, an inside left, but a right hand got him. But he won't be able to run away from the scorecards. He might want to run as far away from them as he can. Evander Holyfield. Holyfield returns to the ring. A workmanlike effort. Showed some different things with the right hand and the good jab throughout most of the fight, but he was never really pressed by Alex Stewart. Carl Banks? Well, I think he can draw some positives from this. He's going to have to do some work, and I think mentally he's just getting back into it, and I don't think it's the same as when he was the heavyweight champion, Bob. He had a layoff, but mentally he wasn't into the fight game. When he was champion, he was into the fight game, and he knew exactly what he had to do. So I think his next fight you'll see a much improved Evander Holyfield. Well, Evander Holyfield in the ring. Is he 29-1? and one? We will find out just momentarily from... Michael Buffer, hammer in the ring as well, their first venture together. Does Holyfield now get a shot? Well, you know, Rock Newman is, he likes to play both ends against the middle, and, you know, he said he wanted a guy that was marketable, you know, and he's dictating the terms now for the heavyweight championship belt. Uh, who knows? He may play games with him, he may not. He may want to go right after Evander Holyfield after something like this. So Holyfield with a workmanlike effort. The way we saw it here, Alex Stewart only won two of the rounds. Well, I would have to agree with you, Bob, because he just didn't do enough. He was not the aggressor. He didn't force the issue, not one round. I think the rounds that he did take, it was because he scored off of counterpunching on Evander. Well, Alex Stewart seated in his corner. He was looked over by the doctor, which is something they do. Holyfield very relaxed. Now we take you up to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. Eugene Grant scores about a 119 to 109. Frank Brunette and Al DeVito score it 118 to 110. For the winner by unanimous decision, Evander, the real deal. Oh!